This part of the house was added on beginning in 1774, and its primary purpose was to provide privacy for George and Martha Washington. It has a stairway that goes all the way from the first floor to the third floor, so they wouldn't have to go out into the rest of the house, which might have been filled with guests. This is the room in which George Washington died of a severe throat infection on December 14, 1799, and it contains the very bed on which he died. That bed has always been one of the mansion's most treasured relics, and we know that Martha Washington said in her will that she, quote, caused it to be made in Philadelphia. So we think she had a special role in this particular piece of furniture. People often comment that it seems small for such a tall man as George Washington was at six foot two, but in fact, the dimensions of the bed are quite close to those of a king-sized bed today. We think of this as George and Martha Washington's room, but they always referred to it as Mrs. Washington's chamber. It was her space. And in this room, she probably did things like sewing with some of her enslaved women, reading to her grandchildren, perhaps planning the day's menus, or even writing a few letters at her desk. That desk, which was made in France, is another of our most treasured pieces because in that desk were contained two letters from George to Martha Washington, of only the few that have survived, because they were found hidden behind one of the drawers of the desk. Another feature of the room is its two very large walk-in closets, very unusual for an 18th century chamber. But Martha Washington was a very wealthy woman, and she brought to Mount Vernon a real treasure trove of textiles, bed hangings, linens, table covers, and she kept those under lock and key here in her chamber where she could keep a close eye on them.